Dirty talk can be such a powerful key to up-leveling our sexual satisfaction. The challenge here is that it's also a major art to execute. It can be the ultimate aphrodisiac leading to the greatest hunger and wetness, or it can be the worst boner killer, leaving both people in complete shock and contraction in moving forward. So why do we do it? It builds sexual tension and anticipation, creating an image of what's to unfold or even expanding the image of what is unfolding, adding so much more depth to this experience. And it makes sex just so much more intense and satisfying. It also helps us to stay in the forefront of our lover's mind long before or after this juicy experience. So my sexy kittens, here is my guide to helping you drop in to this sexy space and be able to dirty talk even better. So my first tip for you to tap into your own eroticism, writing out words that you prefer to be heard or to be said through your own mouth. So coming up with words around the bedroom, around genitals, the body, the ass, different acts, and different turn-ons. And then come up with some sexy adjectives that can go along with it. Then I want you to do the reverse. So writing out words that absolutely are not in resonance with you. Words that when you hear them, you cringe or you tense up. Maybe you're into words like the temple and yoni and lingam, some very tantric words. And more profanity words are words that turn you way off. And maybe you're the opposite. Maybe you like to be a little more nasty with your talk and words that are more flowery are words that make you just want to puke. And when you have your list, if you have a partner, do the same for them. When we compare the lists, we figure out what words are most likely to arouse our partner and what are gonna completely shut them down. So try switching these lists and write along your partner's list, yes, no, or maybe, so that you two can compare. Knowing these words ahead of time not only puts a lot into your toolbox from which you can pull from, but it also can be a major life and sex. Now when you have these words, let's simplify some structure. Things that you can introduce or statements that you can introduce here can be things along of what you're going to do to them. Say what you are doing and say what you just did. So using those words, we can blend them into a very simple structure of dropping into saying what you're going to do to them, saying what you are doing, and what you just did. So people like to hear how hot they are or how much you want to do things to them and you just can't wait. So describing your lust and describing your desire for them is such an incredible turn on. We all want to feel desired. Using multi-sensory descriptive words. So think of this as painting an image with your words. And the more that you can evolve your senses, the stronger and the more potent they can be. We have this experience of phantom senses, which is that ability for our mind to create an image and experience in the body what is associated with that image. So every time that we meditate on the image of being at the beach, do you ever notice that the more you, you delve into it and bring up the senses, then you can smell the salt in the air or feel the sun beaming down on your skin. With that same concept, we can use these, this sensory experience to heighten the images that we are describing. Now I get this isn't so easy for most of us and that's where practice makes perfect. Write out some of these different commands or statements that you find on YouTube or that you find in erotic 
poetry book or on TV and keep these in a dirty little notebook just for you to be able to reference and drop into and, and write out statements so that your brain has an easier time of being able to access them in the moment. Practice saying some of these to yourself, whether that's in the mirror or in the bathtub. Ultimately, this gets you used to the words forming and coming out of your mouth. So again, you're conditioning yourself to make it easier for it to flow. And if you want to take it up a notch, try texting. Something simple but suggestive. Text can be an easier transition because we have more time to think on it. And we aren't in the throes of intimacy where our brain can just go eh, or our throat can just go eh, and it becomes a lot more difficult for it to be accessed. So saying things simple like, I can't wait to see you tonight. It's gonna be really fun. Wink, wink, wink. Or maybe it's get really rested tonight because it's going to be a long marathon. Dot, dot, dot. Either way, these are ways that can be suggestive without using words that might be difficult for us to say just yet. And if it's you who wants your partner to do the dirty talking, Positive reinforcement and encouragement is the key. So sometimes we can be in our head about how it's going to be received. So when our lover can support us, we can find so much more ease in being able to go there. So when your partner says even just a sliver of something that you like, I'll say it again, Dexter. Omelette de fromage. <laughs> or I love the sound of your voice and I and I love I love if you could take it deeper. I'd love if you can bring it dirtier. You know, ways like that. So we're catching them and supporting them in things that they're doing and then inviting them to take it deeper. And if you still need some help <laughs> because all of this can be super new, then check out my latest podcast just released called Erotically Wasted. And this is five minutes of erotic stories that I read straight to your ears. So you don't even have to come up with anything to say yourself. I do the work for you. And let those be inspiration for you to create your own. And ultimately remember, words are just another form of sex toys that we can use to warm ourselves up and to find greater more expansive play. And that's the point of it all. Play. The moment that it's no longer play, then we welcome in all the self-judgment and it becomes a lot more difficult for us to connect to our own pleasure as well as that of our partners. And it's no longer fun for anyone. So I hope this guide helps you out. I want to hear what are your favorite statements or tips that you have for our listeners and put those in the comments below. I believe that we're all experts in these experiences and we all have something to share. So as you're a part of our community, as much as I'm sharing with you, let's teach each other. I'm Dr. Kat Meyer with Sex Love Yoga and this has been your guide to better dirty talk.